introducing the new powder vibe. There are new reasons to become excited about using powders in your artwork. Powders can now be used with more control and better precision, and they can be handled and stored more safely. The powder vibe uses a modified Oral B Hummingbird power flossing device. The modification is that I've put a magnet on the tip of it. The magnet in the hummingbird and the magnet in the cap attract each other and hold fast, forming a quick change adjustable bond. Change colors quick and one-handed. The magnet in the cap helps with storage when not in use. Just stick it to something steel and it will hold. Want to know what color is inside? Write on it or use a sticker to indicate. You might as well dedicate one color to a single capsule, because a little powder goes a long way when there's so little wasted. To use, you simply attach a filled canister to the hummingbird, adjust the angle for your need, and press the button. The button starts the vibrations necessary to make the powder flow through the opening. The tip and the opening are sized and shaped just right so that a little help is needed for the powder to flow out, and vibrations are used to help the powder flow. A short burst of vibration while staying still and you make a small little dot of a deposit. The powder will keep flowing as long as the vibrations continue, so move while you press the button and you will make a line or a curve of some sort. Remove the magnetic cap and put the powder in the tip, but make sure that the hole is covered so that you're not going to have a burst of powder come puffing out. Be careful to keep that tip covered when you're putting the cap back on. Once loaded, you only dispense what you need when and where you need it. This greatly reduces the amount of wasted material and best of all it keeps your powders clean and safely contained, yet ready to use at a whim. A versatile, controllable and clean way to handle those powders. You'll have great control with the powder vibe and with all the control you get a conservation of your powder and it's easier to keep your area clean. A cleaner workplace is a safer workplace, as they say. One reason the powder vibe is so clean comes from the fact that large amounts of unused powder are not dropped through the air. The powder is put right where you want it for melting in or maybe a hot glass surface pickup. Another reason why it's so clean is that you only release enough powder to get the job done. The rest stays contained inside. Less waste, no fuss. Less mess, no dust. Here I'm dropping powder right onto the surface of a very hot bead and it's so hot that it will actually start to fuse with the glass just immediately upon contact. Easy to melt in. Now I'm not putting the tool in the flame, I'm not putting the tip in the flame, the flame is just hitting the back side of the bead, the far side of the bead, and it's just giving it a little extra heat just as it comes around to face me. This is a, a fast and pretty clean way to add enamel powder or glass powder to your bead surface. Here I've created a, a band around the belly of this bead to concentrate and focus the uh, pigment that's going to be dropped into it, the enamel powder, in a very strong and defined concentrated belly band. Oh, well, I like that. I think I'll add a couple more of those. Add a little more heat and then the other side. Now let me show you the technique for hot glass pickups. Lay out the powder on a good working surface like a, a graphite plate and you can draw the patterns, use stencils and or dry comb across the powder to make your pattern more detailed. Roll it, don't slide it, and you can use the same pattern a few times. You can make it much more detailed. This is just a quick little example. I want you to use your imagination. Here I'm showing you how to make a quick and lasting mask for mountain and hill shapes. Leave a spot for bending up, making a simple handle so you can pick up the mask after you place the powder. This is made from thin brass, and of course it's handmade, but you can buy masks already made. Each mask will simulate a layer in the vista one sees as they look out across our beautiful Skagit Valley, with the hills and the mountains in the distance. The masks will help me make better images to pick up off the graphite and will be easy to replicate again and again. My drawings will be a little different each time depending on how I use the masks, however they'll have a certain commonality. A great reference book you might already have in your library is Beads of Glass, 
The Art and the Artists by Cindy Jenkins. In there, on pages 96 and 97, you will find some useful examples of techniques. She shows creative use of screens and masks. It's uh, good information, and I think you would learn something. Check it out. I invented this and the electric mandrel spinner, rolling marvers, and the ultimate hand stabilizers, so you know it's been thought through thoroughly, and it's guaranteed. Patent pending, all rights reserved.